Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about the use of a tool called Blind Elephant. Blind Elephant is a fingerprinting tool that is, you can use to scan web applications to determine what the underlying content management system or uh, setup is. For example, um, if you find a website and you're not sure if they're using uh, Drupal or WordPress or something like that, then you can use this tool and it will use fingerprinting of the web application and the files that it can find on the URL that you provide to identify which particular content management system the um, website is using. So anytime you're um, probing a website for vulnerabilities or you're doing sort of a security test on a website, the first thing to do is to, to do sort of a reconnaissance and find out exactly what underlying systems that web application is using. So um, I'm using Backtrack, but you can also blind or, uh, download Blind Elephant from the SourceForge page. Just Google for Blind Elephant, and uh, the instructions for installation will be there. But like I said, if you're using Backtrack, then it will be located in Applications Backtrack Info Gathering Web Application Analysis CMS Identification Blind Elephant. So that opens us up here, and um, in order to run this tool, you use uh, Python, Blind Elephant, and then the first option that you're going to give it is the URL. So I have another website set up on a different virtual machine that I'm just going to provide the uh, URL for here. And then finally, you could use the word guess. And what guess does, the second option is the plugin name. So if you don't have a specific plugin or um, particular app that you want it to scan, then you can scan the entire URL uh, to get a general guess. So um, just use guess for now, and if you hit enter, it's going to probe that website, and here you can see that it returned WordPress, which is correct. The uh, application that I'm hosting on that URL is using the WordPress content management system. So this is a, a really simple tool, but it's really helpful, especially if after probing around online a little bit, you can't find any of the um, standard URLs that you would associate with a particular content management system. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about um, content management system identification or this tool in particular, leave a comment and I'll try to help you out.